Welcome back to Four Open, and we're going to be moving into our final finals of the day, and it's going to be in Dota 2. I'm joined by two of the players that were playing in the finals, one for each team, otherwise that would be a shit finals if you're from the same team, uh, is of course going to be Notel from Fnatic and Loda from No Tide Hunter. Normally, I like to start off my interviews mm. by being a little bit charming to start with and then get into some you know, good questions and you know, kind of loosen the mood. But basically, what I want to say is, is um, you guys are both wearing hats. Are you both a bit, you know, is it not going so well up there? Actually, the first day I was not wearing my hat because I forgot it. But then I felt like, but I want Dreamhack with my hat, so if I don't wear it, during the ah. in the end, I will ruin oh. my mojo. No tell what's going on up there. I lost my hat the first day, and now it's it's not coming off. It's real cold outside. It's real cold. Come yeah, on, that's actually true. Give us the hair. Okay, I can do it. <laughs> you see, see Loda's doing okay, man. Well, what's going on there, No tell? I actually haven't had a haircut for like down. since I went to Singapore. That's seven months ago. Yeah. But no, put your hat back on though. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is like Loda's already said, like that hat is going to win him. So this hat. It's going to be the new match. Now my hair is going to win this. My hair is going to win this. Okay. All right then, guys. Uh, you both made the, the finals. You're going to be going into a, a best of three. How are you both doing? How are you both enjoying the tournament so far? Um, well, it's been a couple of good games. I mean, this is obviously going to be the toughest match of them all. This is probably the only game in the tournament that I actually think can go either way. Uh, Fnatic has improved a lot since since I saw them play uh, at Dreamhack, and even then they were very strong. So, yeah. <laughs> not so much Hon scrubs anymore. <laughs> not so much Hon scrubs, but I mean, I played Hon for a while for mm. casually, so I was never really into this Hon scrub thing. I was more like yeah. Hon trash. I just told them they were bad. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> because they flamed me when I played Hon. So. <laughs> Did you? Did you flame him? No, no, no. no, no. no. Ah, okay, good. We like it. <laughs> how's it how's it going, No Tell, so far? Uh, so far, the tournament, like, we've been playing really good, I feel, and, uh, well, yeah, as Lola said, I think this is going to be the most interesting game. Um, first time we play on LAN, so, like, online, it's been forth and back, scrims and stuff, we can both easily take games from each other, so, it's going to be nice to finally see how it actually turns out on LAN. Yeah, I agree. And so, uh, Lola, how, how's your team going uh, overall? Because I've noticed the S4... Um, and a, uh, Eternal Envy, like, there's a couple of guys in your team that are really nerdy over Dota. Not mm. nerdy nerdy, but they're nerdy over Dota. Is in they're doing a lot of, they're testing a lot of things, like, you know, it, within the jungle, and they're just, like, really into the number game of it. Are you, are you getting into that at all, or are they just doing it by themselves? Because uh, no. I played with Like, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like, um, it's just, of course, it's, uh, Envy, Envy has makes a lot of good points and he has made us, both me and Aki, like adapt that kind of way of playing as well. Um, but at the same time, it's, we focus on different things. Uh, like, and we, and we does a lot of numbers when it comes to stacking, whatever, how to move, when, we, when you can push, whatever, mm -hmm. stuff like that. While I'll focus more on like how to farm more, most effectively, how to last it, perfectly on the tower, stuff like this. I mean, that doesn't work out in every game, but if you have a perfect game and a perfect beginning, those things does help a lot, and they do improve your, your game a lot. So yeah, yeah I, I'm a bit nerdy, but not as much. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, those guys, I was like very impressed in terms of how um, serious they were taking in yeah. terms of the preparation and stuff. But it, uh, has it helped overall having a kind of a diverse amount of players and how they think about the game to know Tidehunter strategies? Because um, we saw some interesting stuff out of you from DreamHack. Uh, we're going to see something interesting here still. Have you got tricks up your sleeve <laughs> as the team goes? Uh, of course, we always have some tricks up our sleeves. But, I mean, the good thing about our team is that we, we decided to go all in from the beginning. And uh, when, I, when I kind of made the team, got the people, we spoke to each other and so on, um, we just wanted to go, as I said, 100% into this. And then you have to think about how people are in real life as well, because you can't keep playing with some people that, I don't know, they're you too, too like, arrogant like for Pass, themselves. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, Wepas is just sitting over there looking yeah. cocky. And, uh, can't stand. I mean, he doesn't even appreciate Draskal's input uh, and opinion. He's it's like, no, you're wrong. Yeah. It's yeah, people like that doesn't really work out. So when I saw these guys, I knew they had a lot of potential and they 
they look at the game the right way. So yeah. So you think you're going to go far overall? Uh, You've already started great today, or well, overall? I mean, maybe yeah, just in general. Yeah, in, in general. Because you've got I, a new sponsor that you haven't announced yet. Oh uh, yeah, we have had it. <laughs> is it confirmed? Is it a hundred percent? Yeah. You are joining a team. Yeah. They've got sponsors. Yeah. Everything is confirmed. Okay. We like we're not paying by ourselves or anything. Everything has been taken care by uh, taken care of since DreamHack and before DreamHack, oh. and it's been without any troubles at all. Uh, we can't be more happy than we are about this sponsor. So that's nice. You will know. All right. Well. well, we'll be finding out soon. So, uh, Noto, how's the uh, team overall, and uh, how are they ready for the finals? Have they been? You said you've been playing really good here. Mm. A lot better than DreamHack. Um, you really had good performances in DreamHack as yeah. well. Uh, uh, we were really sad to lose at DreamHack, but I mean, it felt like we were playing really good. But the thing is, the semifinals was played another day. That day didn't feel the same. But it was also again against EG, who we never won. But this tournament, yeah, we we have like a lot more strategies. We have a bigger hero pool. I feel like that's been a problem. But now it it feels a lot more comfortable. So I I think we definitely could end up winning finals, but. As I said, like online, it's been going forth and back. So this is might be different on land. Like, let's see. I, I don't know, can't really say how it goes. All right. Well, I'll ask you one last question each, just before we go away. Obviously, we've had multiple games here at Four Open, so there's still going to be people from other uh, games that will be watching the Dota finals. And uh, just to describe, if you can, maybe describe like what your team. I, I mean, I'm sure you know when you look at each other's teams what you're looking out for and they're good for. But if you were to kind of tell new viewers to like, yeah, okay, we're fanatic and this is, you know, what we're kind of a lot better than than maybe other teams in terms of mm. you know your strengths and stuff. Could you, you able to kind of describe fanatic Dota two? Uh, yeah, I think what we have, what I haven't really seen in other teams as much, is uh, our versatility when it comes to well, laning heroes and generally just knowledge. Because we well, we played like a lot of us has played together for years now. I mean, I've been with playing with Trixie for years and uh, Tao with years, and now Era for almost a year, and we all know what the different heroes need. What like, if a if a carry hero scales really well with gold, you 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 want by run by a camp near him. You obviously stack in etc. And yeah, when we have when we have a draft, we can always always just fit the heroes onto different people. And I feel like when you look at other teams, they it's very limited what some heroes or what some players can play of heroes, and you know that if that guy picks something, he's definitely gonna full support, for instance. And I think we're a bit harder to predict that way. Okay, all right, and uh, go on, load us a little bit of a grin there. You're like, uh, don't really know. Yeah, exactly. I was <laughs> like, he's saying so much good stuff. What can I say? Yeah, how do uh, I sell myself in a? <laughs> well, you gotta win the in you gotta win the interview. Uh, I would say we're quite <laughs> we're quite. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That was I was trying yeah. to build it. <laughs> But now you stopped me. You oh, sorry. Me go, 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 go. <laughs> um, nah, it's it's hard to say. Like I think we we are a very interesting team. We're in, uh, only a month old as a team. Um, we we have a lot of potential, and I think we. If people watch our play, we play quite effectively, and we rarely go for like we rarely take obviously stupid decisions. That okay. probably is actually do take stupid decisions. They make the wrong items. Like items that are do nothing for the whole game. Like we don't do stuff like that. We we have a very good team play, and uh, and uh, you should watch out for some of our new up and coming players. S4 is one of the best solo mid players in the world, and if you watch him, uh, you will you will all be impressed. And also Admiral Bulldog, who's uh, famous for his Silla Bear. Yeah. And we'll see. Fnatic likes to steal our heroes and strategies. <laughs> But we'll see if Admiral will play with Sula or not. All or right. you'll see Trixie Sula. Wow. Trixie, Trixie Sula is scary. Some, yeah, it some, is, some it games. is quite scary. But actually. Some games he just doesn't root. <laughs> some <laughs> yeah. games don't root. All right. Fine. Guys, um, we're going to send you off to the uh, finals. We wish you the best of luck in the best of three to, uh, of course, be the champion of the first four <laughs> Open. So uh, thanks for joining us. Thank and I uh, hope everybody at home is also going to enjoy the match.